Hello. Uh, it is very important to do release updates in your Salesforce org. If you go to set up here, in the uh, the six item on the left menu is the release updates. Uh, you have three tab needs action, due soon, overdue, archived. So first all you have to do is go to need action tab. You uh, review the changes, adopt updated content security policy. This is should be completed by January 1st. For example, um, enable AW stack models and then if you go down, scroll down, you can see um, you, you have to um, turn on in the lower region sandbox and you have to test it. Uh, if something goes wrong, you have to do a code changes before you apply uh, or turn it on in production. Otherwise, it will be automatically get activated in the future after on this day. Uh, so you, if something goes wrong, you are in trouble. You have to review the releases, um, uh, release updates, and test it. Uh, do changes if ne needed and roll out in production, turn it on. Um, for example, adopt updated content security policy. For, you can view details, you can view details if you want um, more information on that. Let's get started here. You, you want to uh, start from the sandbox and then test it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Um, in sandboxes, test it. Uh, update changes and then roll out in production. Yeah. Uh, what is changing? What improvement uh, uh, can I see? How my org is impacted? They have plethora of uh, information. Um, you can turn on the enab uh, test run. Uh, test run means if you turn it on, um, it uh, it simulates the changes. You can disable test run if you want here. Yeah. Review the impactor resources. Update your trusted URLs. Test a change. So, so these actions you have to do um, before uh, turn this on. Um, yeah, go to release updates every now and then. Um, you have to turn it on uh, in the production after testing in lower region. Yeah, uh, it is very important to update the releases to do release updates uh, as a Salesforce developer, or Salesforce administrator. Uh, otherwise, you'll be in trouble if you have incompati incompatibility problem with the existing code or settings. Uh, you have to be on top of that, be on top of the release updates. It's very important as a Salesforce administrator or a developer.